crow cake and eats another type of conservation momentum problem is the explosion problem. Now, explosion problems are kind of like anti-sticky problems. Sticky problems, the objects are initially apart, they collide, and because of the circumstances, they uh, remain stuck together as a two-piece or more system moving at the same velocity. That's a sticky problem. Explosion problems are the other way around. Explosion problems, you have things that are stuck together initially, multiple parts of an object, and then bam, it blows up, and some pieces go one direction, and other pieces go another direction. Okay. Also governed by conservation of momentum. So, if you look at problem uh, number three, it's an explosion problem. It is a bullet being fired out of a rifle. And here's my horrible drawing of a rifle. Worst trigger ever. But I, mean, I got to fix that. Sorry, can't abide. Can't abide that. Nice smooth transition there. Trigger guard, bolt handle. Anyhow. We have a bullet inside inside the rifle here. And the mass is the mass of the gun is uh, four kilograms. That's given the problem. The initial velocity of the gun is zero meters per second. The mass of the bullet is 65 grams on your homework sheet, but that's going to translate to 0 0.065 kilograms. And the initial velocity of the bullet is zero. Now, after the bullet is fired, the bullet is rushing toward its intended target at 500 meters per second. And the gun barrel will be recoiling backwards. The whole gun will be moving backwards. Okay. In any case, I'm going to give up trying to draw it. Gun's going to be recoiling. I'm not happy with how my drawing is going today. Anyhow, so the, the gun, if I can just bring it over, uh, I'd have to bring it over one piece at a time. The gun will be moving rearward after firing, and it will have a final velocity. Uh, well, we don't know. That's what we're looking for. You start with the same equation as always, sigma p equals sigma p prime. That means pg plus pb equals pg prime plus pb prime. Yeah, my smart board's a bit out of alignment here. Anyhow, so here we go. And that's going to be MGVG plus MVVB equals MGVVG prime plus MVVB prime. And those are all kind of defaults. That, that doesn't change no matter what we're doing. If you had a third thing happening, it'd be another M and a V on each side. Okay. Now, the happy thing is that these two are zero. So your entire left-hand side drops down to zero kilogram meters per second. That has to be equal to the mass of the gun, which is four kilograms times VG prime. That's what we're trying to solve for. Plus 0 0.065 kilograms times the 500 meters per second. That's going to give you zero kilogram meters per second will be equal to still the 4 kilograms VG prime plus this works out to be 32.5 kilogram meters per second. Well then the next step algebraically is to move this 32 and a half over by subtraction so you have negative 32.5 meters kilogram meters per second is equal to 4 kilograms uh, times VG prime 
And through the miracle of division, you divide both sides by four kilograms. And that gives you, for the VG prime, negative 8.125 meters per second. And that's an example of how you attack a, an explosion problem. It may not say explodes, though. It may say launches, fires, blows up. Uh, there may be more than one piece uh, come off. Maybe it breaks up into four or five pieces, depending on how mad I am at you. Um, it may be moving initially, although this left-hand side being zero thing is pretty common. Uh, the big thing is you can't make a lot of assumptions until you sit down and start to chew on the problem a little bit. So don't get in a hurry. Let plenty of space. Get in a hurry, you make silly mistakes. We all do. It's part of being human. Okay? That's how explosion problems work. And it works the same way if you have to deal with the hats down the road a little bit, too. The, the, the basic format doesn't change. The problem just becomes more complicated. Hope this helps.